Oh, and welcome back to Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards, with me, Matthew Caddis, a.k.a. Puggy. So, this episode will cover the first two stages in, um, there I say, Ripple Star, because they didn't take me very long, actually. Um, and that's without me getting all of the Crystal Shards. So, first off, you would think that a, um, a, a planet that was under threat from... There is not only um, Dark Matter, but also H2O, um, will be um, very dark. But the first level is actually quite upbeat. It even has the first level's music as well, which, honestly, if you had played the game, hadn't played the game before, then you wouldn't think this level would be like that. But oh, and um, this does change, don't worry. So yeah, do I want evil? Not really, no. And. Um, and as if you get fire and thing, we get Kirby's head on fire. Though that does actually mean it doesn't actually take damage, surprisingly. Uh, because the static electricity buildup actually helps in this case. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'm not going to use it too much because, to be honest, I'm not a fan of that ability. <laughs> Better Swiss Army Kirby than the other one. So that being said... We actually get our first um, crystal shard easily. Seriously. That one isn't too hard at all. Um, but, um, yeah, what else? We even get some factories full of fun making bubbles. This doesn't look like the place where our mastermind is going to be hiding out, but oh boy, am I wrong here. Seriously. And. By beating the second mini boss, we actually get the second crystal shard. Okay, this, this was going by very quickly and, and quite easily. But the last crystal shard, surely there's going to be some sort of catch here. There usually is with not just Kirby games where you have to get uh, various things. Because, I mean, um, we have that in Return to Dreamland, of course, later on. Um, Kirby games, I've already mentioned Dreamland 3. We have to get the heart stars, but... Um, well, no, really. Various other games where uh, getting... Certainly platformers, at least, where you have to get various uh, items. Okay, yeah, that's where the last one is. And like with many of the other crystal shards in this game, you will need to get a certain combination of abilities, and double fire will not cut it here, seriously. Because it's on the ground, of course. I do like that. That uh, thing in the background, that giant flower, seriously. You would think it would be... Um, let's try, actually, uh, fire and stone. So, Volcano Kirby. Unfortunately, no, it's not. Because Kirby cannot reach there anyway, so... Never mind, never mind. No. He's a uh, magma ball... Magma stones? I don't know. Uh, I'm an idiot. So, instead, let's get to the end of the level, and indeed, um, go and jump for a one-up. Why the hell not? I'll just get a star. Works. Um, I don't mind not getting a one-up. After all, you you do have infinite continues, just like in Kirby Superstar. <laughs> anyway, that being said, um, yeah, now this is looking more like the final area of the game. Seriously. Or very close to the final regular level in the game. Or, or world in the game. Even though this last area does actually still have hearts here. Uh, don't let that fool you, oh no. Um, so yeah, so... We cannot go down there, but we can go through this little alcove on the right, and that will take us to another underwater cavern. Uh, so yeah. Uh, other than that, we also have... Uh, I can only describe... Well, they're not jellyfish. So, um, squids, I don't guess, and cutterfish as well. I certainly would would like cutter. If I can use it. Yes, I can. So yeah, up here we can see a couple of fish up here, and um, let's see what else is on here. Okay, these guys, which you can easily get rid of with cutter. Very nice. Now in this level, um, um, there are branching pathways if you're trying to get at least some of the things, and apparently. Um, there's a boulder in the way. Well, King DDD will help us get through there. There we go. Uh, that, uh, though this time we're not going to partner up with him. Seriously. So, yeah. Sorry, folks. We, we, we won't get to use King DDD's hammer. 
Nope. And if you come back here, King DDD disappears as well. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, but never mind. Uh, let's go through here. Get rid of the arachnids. Because the, this being not only a Kirby game, but also a platformer, I do want to explore at least some of the places in this uh, level. Seriously. Maybe not all, because um, there may be some cases I cannot get a crystal shard. So yeah, do I want to go back in the water? Probably not. Even though I probably am missing a crystal shard, I'm not going to bother getting it. Seriously. Um, and if you want to know what the last two levels are like, the last level is an enemy rush, just like with, um, uh, I dare say, um, many of the other Kirby games. And then is, I guess, the final boss if you're not getting the crystal shards. But um, if you are, it is the penultimate boss. So yeah, um, oh boy. Okay, so Needle, oh, we've seen that. that that's Chomp Kirby. I'm gonna call it Chomp Kirby, even though it's not really resembling like a Chain Chomp or anything like that from the Mario games, but whatever. Chomp Kirby shall be. Okay, I don't really need a, a, a Maxim Tomato. Certainly not. Okay, get rid of you because I cannot stand those enemies. Okay, and we're back in the water. Um, okay, get a few more stars. What's over off to the left here? Okay, a couple more things there. A sandwich there. Uh, I'll swim through here if I can. And what's in this alcove here? Well, this will take us to our next area where um, we will see Adeline uh, painting various things. She will give us an invisibility candy, which is very nice indeed. Okay, there are a couple of pillars in this room. And off to the left, a crystal shard. So yeah, I don't know what the uh, invisibility is for, because to be honest, yeah, we don't really need it. Uh, I wouldn't mind that one up, I wouldn't mind having more than three lives, but yeah, you can get one you get, I suppose. And then we can go through here, and um, we have a lift, apparently. Yeah, and this will take us to, uh, I think, the end of the level. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. So I will see you on the next one when we have the enemy rush and, I guess, the penultimate boss. So I'll see you then. Goodbye.